Hey, what's up you guys and welcome back to the farm. So we are finally here on version 2.1. Um, not a whole lot of visual change right here, but we are on version 2.1. Because uh, as you can see, we do have oats and rye and trit trit tritical, spelt, millet, all that stuff. We have those extra added crops. Um, and then they did keep it as Suncor Energy, but you can tell that there is more down there now. Uh, if you remember, I was trying to figure that out and could not. But uh, it is set up down there. You can see all of the area that is mapped out and stuff like that so but anyway um we are here uh so i'm just gonna do kind of a well we did a rundown of the equipment yesterday so we don't need to uh do a rundown of the equipment but of our fields so let's hop over here so this season um, we're going to be running field, field, the following fields, five, seven, eight, nine, 13, 16, 17, 25, 26, 27, uh, this 28 slash 29 thing, and then field 55. Now the crops that we're going to run are oats, rye, and sunflowers. So I have it set up that we're going to do uh, rye in fields 5, 7, 8, and 25. Uh, oats in 9, 13, 16, and 17. And then sunflowers in 26, 27, 28, slash 29, and 55. So what we need to do right now is we need to get the... Uh, big uh, our tractor out of the shed our big 8440 here and get hooked up to our uh, disc and get started on our spring tillage here and my steering wheel is all out of whack again Okay, so we can just try and sneak out of this entrance here. Alright, cool. So we'll close that door up. Perfect. Okay. So it took me a while actually to get this save game set up. Um, the crushed corn mod, anytime that, that was active alongside uh, Seasons mod, it would crash the game and I couldn't do anything. So that was kind of annoying to have to deal with. But uh, I finally got it figured out and then. Um, Got everything taken care of, and then it took me a while to get everything switched over to this, uh, all of the vehicles and stuff, because the first time I had saved the game a couple of times without uh, the bins. I don't know why that unfolded. That's kind of weird. Without the bins um, for this version of the map, so I didn't have any of the grain bins, so then I had to reset up the save game again. And then, um, yeah, it was just, it was a mess. And it took me a while to finally get it, but finally got it, and now we are here and ready and going. So, we just got to get our cultivator dug out here, and then we'll be all set. This is literally going to be the only time, or only reason that this tractor is hooked on this sprayer is to move it definitely not going to spray with it because that would just be ridiculous oops throw through the fence post there so those items will just stay out until 
till uh, till we're done planting, I guess. And then they can go in the shed for a little while until until we need them. All right, so we got our sunflower disc hooked up. Let's head on over here to uh, the first field. Figure out which one that will be. All right, so if you remember this coon, uh, coon, sunflower 1435 disc plows and cultivates, so we can do uh, two types of tillage in one pass, or two rounds of tillage, I guess you could say, in one pass. Uh, we're gonna go ahead, and we're gonna start with this field 26 over here. We haven't worked that ground yet, and that one's pretty close. We'll do all these ones here close to this farm and then we'll move on over to the other ones. I don't know what happened in that field that uh, there's two different crops in it, but there is, for whatever reason. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this unfolded, and while that unfolds, I'm going to go ahead and calculate our edge path for this field. Uh, I have done this and I've gotten all of these sizes figured out and stuff, but because it's a new save game I have to just calculate the paths again, or the field edges again, so no biggie, I mean we got to drive into the fields anyways, so uh, oops. alt L, not control L. Alright, so hopefully we don't have any fields that are uh, cultivated, otherwise this could be a bit of a pain. Let's just look here and see. Uh, we do. Well, what we could do is we can just turn off the periodic plowing. Let's turn this off just for this season. For this first go around and I see that this is actually missing some with the cultivator it could be that the uh, nodes aren't set up correctly or something but so what we'll do is we'll cultivate the ones that have stubble and then next season when we can really see better and stuff then we'll be able to uh, uh, cultivate a little better and then we'll have periodic plowing on uh, I do also have the fertilizer stages set to one for now. Um, I'll change that once we've gone through this first season or first year here. Uh, and then, because with chop straw, when you cultivate it under, it adds two stages of fertilization. So that'll help with the fertilizer application. You know, then we'll only have to spray once uh, after our harvest or after our planting but for now I'm just gonna do the one stage and then we'll uh, we'll change that before we do fall tillage I think I can activate stubble cultivator with this yeah so let's just try it left control eight oops Okay, we gotta move this to group seven then. Oh, okay. So that's what that does. For some reason, I thought stubble cultivator just cultivated certain things. I don't know why. So I wonder, will the cultivator remove it? No. I didn't think so. I just wanted to try it. Just to completely find out. Alright, we'll leave that off. So this is actually a pretty cool setup. I like the 
tractor and the disc that we've got. I definitely like this over the uh, International that we had before. I mean, I like John Deere more than I like International or Case. I mean, if there was enough good John Deere stuff that I could run an all John Deere equipment save game, although I, I pretty much could right now, actually. Yeah, I could if I wanted to, but might have to do that set up like an all international farm and an all in, all case farm and an all John Deere farm and do something like that. I could actually do it on this map because there's multiple farms. So I could run one farm as all John Deere and one is all case and one is all international. That'd be kind of fun. Of course running them all like older equipment because that's what most of the John Deere and most of what I have actually is, or I have a lot of old stuff. I mean, it's not most of my mods, but it is a pretty good portion of my mods folder. So tillage shouldn't really take too terribly long with uh, this setup. I mean, it'll help that we're not having to go back over the fields again. Um, you know, before it was, we ran over with the plow and then we had to go back and run over with the cultivator. But now all we gotta do is one, one pass and everything's done. So that'll help. Uh, and I think we should, I think our Great Plains will be able to plant most of the crop. Uh, we'll just have to use the uh, 70, 7200 to plant. Um the sunflowers and we can uh so we'll use this tractor for tillage and then planting whatever crops we plant with the great plains and then the 76 will be able to um, run grain cart and run the 7200 and then the case can run like the grain like it can run the auger and it can run the sprayer and then we'll have that uh, to be able to use. I'm not entirely sure if this tractor has a dirt skin on it or not. Oh, I think it does. I see a little bit of dirt on the cab, or on the roof of the cab there. I'm not sure what the heck. I'm going to see what crop was in this. Soybeans. Oh. The stubble for soybeans is very difficult to see. Um, so if you look, there is no left shift H alternative hired worker thing uh, in the help menu. I did take, I didn't delete the alternative helper script, um, but I just took it out of, or like I disabled it for this save game, so just don't have to deal with it then. Now comes the fun of trying to see the rest of this. I maybe should have picked a different field to do first. And then like done this one off camera or something. Or had course play do this one. I did make the mistake of clicking yes for the uh, course play question of would you like your hired or would you like course play to charge basically where you pay your course play workers $1,500 an hour. So... I'd like to try and not use course play at all if possible. Um, I might, I think I can go and change that in the XML file uh, for the save game. I'm not positive though, but I hope so. Because I do want to use a little bit of course play here and there. But, like maybe for the combine. Or else the grain cart, one of the two. Just so that way, you know, like I'm not, you know, because since we're using a grain cart now, it doesn't pay to, you know, me drive the combine and then fill the combine, bring the grain cart over to the combine, you know, basically do what we were doing with the gravity wagon, just with the grain cart. 
because I mean that completely defeats the whole purpose of having a grain cart in the first place. So, I mean it doesn't make very much sense. So, I'd like to either put the combine on a hired worker, or put, uh, or on course play, or else put the grain cart on course play. I mean that would require me moving the trucks a lot or like making sure that they're in the same spot. I'd most likely put the combine on like course play or something. That would probably be the easiest thing to do. And then I could just run grain cart and have it uh whoa definitely need to drop that down. But that would probably be the easiest. I mean, the trucks I definitely have to run because course play is not going to work with the auger at all. Um, maybe it would with like the, well, it could possibly work with like the Batco drive over jump auger, but I'd just have to make sure that when the, I'd probably have to put like a waypoint before the auger, except then I'd have to like make sure that I get the auger set up exactly the same every single time that I use that bin. So that would be a huge pain to try and do. But you can definitely tell that the windows are tinted kind of hard to drive or to run this with in cat it's hard to do this field in general oh excuse me kind of hard to do this field in general I mean like the corn stubble and you know, all the other stubble you can see pretty well this stuff yeah not so much It'll definitely be easier after harvest when there's chops are on the ground. I mean, I guess technically, if I wanted to, I could run the stubble cultivator uh, script and run over the field once. And I think that would put... Because I think that plows the ground yet, but it just puts the chop straw over top or something like that. I'm not positive. But I could go over it once and then put down that chop straw and then go back again and you know plow that under which I want to see so it did actually fertilize it hmm and that's actually a pretty dark fertilizer hmm I think okay let's let's try this I'm going to do it in this spot here, just because I want to try, um, I want to see just how, what? oh, so it only works on stubble, I see. Now, is the stubble still there, or did that get cultivated? Yeah, so it takes out the stubble. Okay. So we're just going to have some of the field that's not quite as fertilized as the rest of it. In this one, anyways. So yeah, then it... Okay, cool. That's good to know. Hmm. Well, that's definitely interesting, but... I think I'll just leave it off. 
for now. We'll just do, you know, we won't use stubble cultivator. We'll just run things with the stubble from the combine next year. Maybe kind of nice if when um, with seasons mod when you start a save game with seasons and it's on a map that has crops grown from the beginning it'd be kind of nice if instead of just returning it to the harvested state uh, it'd be kind of nice if it you know still returned it to the harvested state but also um, like put down chop straw there on maps that have chop straw that is that'd be kind of nice but that's I guess okay So whatever cultivating we don't get done in this video, I'm going to do off camera um, of this field only, not in general, but of this field, uh, I'll do it off camera and then we'll do another field um, tomorrow just because this field is going to be kind of difficult to do, I think, I'm just trying to think of a good way to do this field and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run some GPS here we'll go right here Working with. I definitely don't want I don't want a offset period but definitely don't want one that's that far over okay so the working with needs to come down just a little bit What's it say it is in the store here? 12 meters? Yeah, I don't buy it. Let's set it to 11. That'll work. There we go, that works. Although neither of these actually are equipped with the uh, items needed for running GPS, but I don't really care. I want to run GPS anyways. Just for this field at the very least. The rest of it I'll be able to do freehand, hopefully. As long as there's no soybeans in any other uh, fields. Uh, should be A-OK. -okay. Which I don't think... No, this is the... Uh, oh, no. We do have soybeans in 28 slash 29 there. But then it's nothing... Um, I don't think anything in this. Oh, wait. Yeah. Uh, millet there, millet there. Millet there, millet there and spelt is what I think is mixed into that field or what's mixed in there wheat yeah so I must have just forgotten to remove all of the wheat or else was like adding in some wheat or something like that I don't know what happened there Um, what we can do, let's go take a look at Suncor, at the uh, new setup for wet distiller grain, which uh, you can actually feed to the cows. Uh, let's look and see. Uh, that is, you can feed that or 
uh, silage. That's what that takes over. So let's go ahead and take a drive here. I know I've looked at this place once when I first downloaded the map, but I haven't really looked at it again uh, since then. Uh, and he did fix this church model as well. Um, it doesn't go black, or is it's not supposed to uh, turn black when you look at it certain ways. So that's nice. Alright, so here we are. We pull in, take this little road in, so we can go left to the office or we can go straight to go get weighed. Uh, attention drivers, make sure tarps are open before entering the scales. That would be nice, otherwise you might get a hole punched in your tarp. So you can pull up here, do the grain probe. What's our truck weigh? 4,156 pounds. Okay, so now we come over here. So you can pull up to go all the way up here. So now if we go to the first door, we can sell our grain, our, our corn. And if we go to the second door, that's where we produce the um, wet distillers. Just cut across here. So we got uh, the production area. Ooh, the water actually reflects. That's awesome. And then if we go over here, here is where you go to pick up the distillers. Um, when you dump corn in, that pile will get bigger, and then you can drive under this spout here. And. Uh, fill your trailer and then when you go to leave let's see when you leave straight from the elevator you'll go out on this so then even when you leave the distillers you'll come on that cut across road and then to exit you got away again head on out and he did add there's like a big pad up here he must be planning to add something or else he made a position for maybe he made this for putting placeables down um, or else maybe he's gonna add like some buildings here or something or I don't know what what the plan is for there but uh, there's definitely going to be, definitely meant for something. It would definitely be a good area to put, like if we need to place more grain bins or um, any like facilities. You know, let's just do this liquid fertilizer thing, for example. So we could place this up here. Or, you know, like this big machine shed would fit there. can put more grain bins there all kinds of options I guess take this route going back head on over to our field or we'll actually put the pickup at the next field in case we need the pickup for anything alright and there 
goes my timer. So yeah, um, I'll put this pickup at the next field that we're going to work on. And then I'm going to get more or less finish that field off camera. And then uh, tomorrow we'll do, you know, I'll have like maybe a one little pass to do in there. And then fold up and move on over to the next field. Which we'll probably do uh, field 25 here next. So probably won't need to actually fold the disc. Um, just, you know, move over to that field. So we're going to just go ahead and put this guy right here. And then that is going to do it for today. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all of my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching you guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.